When Senegal closed its borders in March, Zora Opoku found she had no choice but to stay at a residency in Dakar. The Ghanaian German artist had been creating textile collages to explore her self-image after a cancer diagnosis. But the death of George Floyd, a black man who died in US police custody, inspired the 44-year-old to stitch a new piece in tribute to the Black Lives Matter movement. The recent happenings and protests following uh, George Floyd's death uh, have shaken us and awaken us, I believe, and um, sharpen our senses in what kind of world we, we want to live in. Um, for, for weeks I had no words. Um, I was... And, but I needed something to express my anger, I mean, my emotions, because this is ongoing and repetitive, and it's, it's not something what um, I can just um, observe. I really have to do something about it. Apoku has called the white and indigo dyed canvas say their names. She has sewn dozens of images of an unidentified face from ancient Egyptian art. Some are printed in red and tumble down a screen print of Apoku's face like teardrops. The artist has a rare black perspective in that she grew up surrounded by white people in communist East Germany. And I was always uh, interested in like actually disappearing in an environment um, because of my upbringing. So I always um, had this negotiation of how much do am I visible and how much is visible from my identity. The quest for identity is a central theme in Apoku's work. In earlier self-portraits, Apoku obscured her face with plants. In her latest series, she combines images of bare tree branches from her native Germany with dissected photos of herself.